Ah, the oversized tee. A recent staple in my wardrobe. I used to only wear fitted tees and I gotta say, if you find an oversized tee that fit you well, it's gonna be really hard to go back. It's just way more comfortable and it gives you more air circulation which is huge for someone like me who lives in Malaysia. So in today's video, I'm going to review 4 oversized tee from brands such as COS, Uniqlo, H&M and Oxwhite to find out which brand makes the best oversized tee. So watch till the end to find out which brand makes it to the top. Let's go! In this review, I'm going to score these oversized tees out of 3 things. Fit, quality, and price. I'm going to give each of these a score out of 5 and I'm going to sum it up at the end. Here's a pause screen from my body measurements for those of you who are wondering. First on the list, we have a local brand here in Malaysia. We have Ox White. So I did a review on their crew neck tee and I gotta say the results were stunning. So I decided to give their oversized tee a shot. So here's their unisex oversized tee in a size S priced at 59 ringgit. Alright, so first impressions. What? That's a huge split. Honestly, I'm not too sure what are the point of these and I don't think I'm a big fan of it. So with the fit, I gotta say it's really not bad. Drop shoulder looks good, the sleeve length covers the upper arm and the collar fits close to the neck which I love. But one thing I dislike about this tee is the overall length which ends around the lower crotch which is bad for me because it sort of creates an illusion that I'm shorter than I already am. And in terms of quality, the tee is made out of 100% double jersey cotton which in my opinion feels like a midweight fabric. The tee feels decently comfortable to the wear and it definitely passes the opacity test. As you can see, the collar is definitely thicker compared to the rest of the shirt which is a plus point. But one thing I need to point out is some parts of the stitching are not uniformed and if you look closely you can see threads starting to come loose which sort of shows a lower level of workmanship which is surprising because their crew neck tee felt really premium. So for 59 ringgit, I gotta say good attempt from Box White, the fit is really not bad. With a few changes with the fit, especially the quality, I think they'll do incredibly well. Personally, I prefer a more minimal and timeless design without any slits, but if you like it, that's good for you. So 3 stars for price, which gives Oxwhite a total score of 3.5 stars out of 5. Next on the list, we have Uniqlo's u Arism Cotton Oversized Crew Neck Half Sleeve T-Shirt. Always a mouthful. Priced at 59 90 ringgit, and I'm wearing a size M. Personally, love this oversized tee from Uniqlo. I've done a video on which Uniqlo tee is the best, so definitely check it out if you haven't. Alright, so starting with the fit, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It really is a perfect fit. Perfect drop shoulder, perfect sleeve length, no flare around the sleeves, which is one thing I personally look for with an oversized tee. And one thing that many brands don't get right, which Uniqlo does, the shirt length. I'm not the tallest guy at 5'9", so this is an important fit for me and for all of you who are the same. Alright, so just a quick comparison with the previous Oxwhite tee. You can see that the Uniqlo tee is definitely more proportionate, which makes the entire outfit flow way better, whereas the Oxwhite tee just makes me look like Frodo. Another thing I need to point out with the fit is the chest and stomach area. Despite it being an oversized tee, what I notice about the fit around the chest and stomach area is it's slightly on the tighter side which is a good thing because you're not going to see much wrinkling around the fabric. And in terms of quality, guys, this is from Uniqlo's Arism line, so you can only expect it to be comfortable, and yes, it delivers. Immediately, I feel way lighter and more comfortable after swapping it out from the Oxwhite tee. This tee is made out of 53% cotton and 47% polyester, which gives it a stretcher feel to it. And some of you might be thinking, polyester, doesn't it make it cheap? Actually, no. Polyester helps the garment from stretching after it's been washed, so it's definitely a plus point for me. The fabric is in my opinion mid-weight, which is sufficient for me though I would definitely prefer it if the fabric is a bit thicker, but most importantly, the tee is not see-through. Honestly, it looks pretty heavy, but it wears lighter compared to the Oxwhite tee. Stitching quality as well, Uniqlo standards which is good and hard to beat especially at this price point, and the collar feels solid. And lastly, the price. At 59 dollars ringgit for a perfect fit and an incredibly comfortable wearing experience, I'm only lying if I don't give it a 5. So overall, I'm going to give it 5 for fit, 5 for quality, which gives the Uniqlo T a total score of 5 stars. Moving on, we have H&M's Relax T-shirt priced at 27 95 ringgit, which makes it the cheapest oversized tee in today's review, and I'm wearing a size M. First impressions, they're incredibly lightweight, and it's definitely an oversized fit rather than a relaxed fit. H&M definitely nailed the length with this one, ending right at mid crotch, and the sleeve length covering my upper arm, which is a bare minimum fit when it comes to an oversized tee in my opinion. Decent drop shoulder as you would see in a typical oversized tee. Body fit is alright, you can definitely see that there's more fabric around the chest and stomach area compared to the Uniqlo tee, which is pretty subjective. For me, I prefer it if the chest is a bit tighter because it creates a neater look and it also prevents any wrinkling. And lastly, the collar fit is on the wider side which isn't ideal. Now, the quality. The tee is made out of 100% cotton, feels alright, nothing to go crazy about, 
and due to it being a lightweight fabric, it definitely feels more comfortable compared to the Oxy-T, but nowhere compared to the Uniqlo T. And like I said, the T is very lightweight, which in my opinion isn't a suitable fabric for an oversized T. And the opacity, you can see the price tag through the shirt, which is a huge negative. Stitching quality is mediocre, visible threads poking up the shirt, which is no surprise for H&M. And I gotta say, the quality of the collar is horrible. The fabric around the collar is similar to the rest of the shirt, which is incredibly thin, so you can only expect it to be flimsy. So for $27.95, you're getting an above average fit, but horrible quality. I mean, oversized tees aren't cheap, so I'm gonna give H&M a two and a half stars for price, which gives it a total score of two stars out of Five. Last but not the least, we have a very popular brand when it comes to oversized garments. You're looking at the oversized fit pocket t-shirt from Cost in a pastel pink colorway. And of course, Zalora decides to stock up on their whites only after I bought these. This oversized tee costs a whopping 180 ringgit, which makes it the most expensive oversized tee in today's review, and I'm wearing a size M. All right, first impressions, the tee feels very well constructed and definitely heavier compared to the rest of the tees. One small difference with this tee is it has a pocket on the left side of the chest. In my opinion, the fit of these feels a little awkward. The length of it is slightly too long for my body and the sleeve length doesn't even cover my upper arm. I mean, I know it's subjective, but just keep that in mind. The drop on the shoulder looks all right, maybe because the sleeve length is slightly on the shorter side and yes, I could have gotten a size larger, but the length of it is just gonna swallow me whole and make me look short AF. The chest and stomach fit is pretty standard, which is more on the boxier side. And one plus point I would give to this tee is the fit of the collar, which is on the tighter side, which you all know is something I look out for with an oversized tee. Okay, so moving on with quality, I gotta say, Cos does an amazing job. I mean, you're paying 180 ringgit for an oversized tee, so they better do a good job. This tee is made out of 100% cotton, but it definitely has a rougher touch to it compared to the rest of the tees, which isn't a bad thing. Fabric is thick all around, especially the collar and pocket area, which is a good sign of quality, so you don't have to worry about this tee being see-through at all. The only downside with the thickness is it's not gonna be too suitable to be worn on a hot day. Stitching quality is supreme amongst the rest, you can see the lining is very well reinforced, but this is expected for the price you're paying, right? So the big question, is this tee worth the 180 ringgit price tag? First things first, I gotta give credit to cost for the quality because there's really nothing bad to say about it. However, the fit could be better. I mean, if you like your oversized tee to be slightly longer on your body and has sleeves that are slightly shorter, then this tee might be for you. But for the price of 180 ringgit, which I'm sure most of you would agree is a hefty price for a t-shirt, personally, I would say they're not worth it. So I'm gonna give it a one star for price, which gives it a total score of three stars out of five. So there you have it, my rankings for the best oversized tee based off fit, quality, and price. So that's it for today's review. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know down in the comments if there are any other brands who can compete with today's champion, Uniqlo, because I'm done giving them so much credit. Nah, I'm joking, they're amazing. By the way, links are in the description below for all the tees you see in today's review. And guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap that notification bell so I can continue to create more content that I enjoy making for you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, stay dapper.